This is a headgum podcast. Dungeon, 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 dungeon. Welcome dungeon, 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 to Dungeon Courts. Dun dun. Dun dun. dun, dun. dun, dun. We are your <laughs> benevolent <laughs> Supreme Crit Justices, Murphy, Axford, and Iyengar. Whoa! Ooh, I like getting extra. This is good for me. Yeah, yes. a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Abria. Uh, unfortunately, Jake could not make it this month, but mm-hmm. um. But we have a wonderful backup bailiff in his stead, <clears throat> and she will begin right now. I actually did not introduce Caldwell. I said you as a Supreme Crit Justice, yeah. but you're the bailiff this week. Oh. But we also have Justice Tanner. Let's give it up Woo! for Thank Justice you. Tanner. Yeah. 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 Give it up. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Uh, visual joke <laughs> for the uh, people at home that Thank you for calling uh, it a joke. listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he stood up and looked at the camera. <laughs> Uh, most feel people, the movement. Most people listen to the show. <laughs> important hear, to remember. So hear the soft rustling of cloth and be like, yeah. that's actually pretty funny cloth. <laughs> it also <laughs> silly Caldo's cloth. right. It wasn't a joke. He just, <laughs> no. he just stood up. I kind of stood up like a uh, like a monster in a horror movie, like slowly mo- moving towards camera, just yeah. like slowly yeah. and awkwardly. And this is coming out in October. Exactly. So, ooh, Perfect. What happens after you watch this? <laughs> um, I, I will be in your closet. <laughs> Caldwell's gonna be in your closet. I'm gonna be in your closet. Caldwell's gonna be in your closet. Yeah. Unless you delete this YouTube video, I will be in your closet. <laughs> anyway, good lord. Uh, Send this to your friend to curse them with Caldwell yeah. in your closet. What's up? Yes. I'm the new ring girl. Aww. <laughs> what an upgrade oh, for you. Thank you. I'm really honored to be cast. <laughs> That's it's huge. just me at the bottom of a well being like, hey. <laughs> All right, Em, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> hear ye, hear ye! Crit is now in session. The Honorable Supreme Crit Justices Murphy, Iyengar, and Tanner presiding along with your backup bailiff, Emily. Our first case comes from Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Ben! <laughs> Yay! Ben writes, May it please inscrutable justices and the effervescent bailiff, Emily. Wow. I bring Ooh. to you the case of the food order that ended a campaign. Whoa. Oh my God. Back when 5e was still quite new, my friend wanted to take over my usual role as DM and move us from 4e to 5e. I was delighted by this as I wanted to take a little break from DMing. However, this led to a few issues. The main issue happened about three sessions in. To the DM's credit, the session was weird. Two new players joined just for that session. Someone was late and someone bro- <laughs> and someone's brother came just to watch. <laughs> That's Ooh, all right. a spectator. I, all right. I we have more. to finish. I, it seems like you have more, but uh, like yeah. this is a bad situation because clearly that brother was in town for a visit. That's my read on this. Oh, yeah. and was just dragged to oh, yeah. night. And they did not mention the fact that they were going to be at like a four hour event. <laughs> the brother needed to leave early. So the player, Jammy, offered to take the brother home and get a food order for everyone at the table. When they left, the DM ran an encounter whilst we were waiting. I was KO'd on the first round before even getting to take a move and waited for the food to arrive. The (coughs) combat ended after a bit and Jamie got back with the food. All ends well. Until after the session, the DM messaged the group and told everyone how much XP they got for the encounter and said, Jamie got zero as his character wasn't there. Even I got XP and all I did was lie on the floor bleeding out. Jamie, Jamie where got the food? <laughs> Jamie is- he was Get getting food home. in real life and should still get the XP. The argument ended the campaign and I've never used the XP since. Mighty <laughs> Justice is, who was the asshole? I throw my friends at your mercy and I'm ready to inform any punishments you may give. <laughs> Amazing. What on earth? Like, Holy shit. Number one, they, this is like, there's precedent for this. They've solved this in Pokemon. You get XP all, you equip it, everyone's getting XP even if they fight or not. That's wow. gotta apply the Pokemon here. Pokemon precedent. The Pokemon precedent shows its ugly head yet again. <laughs> <laughs> Always yeah. rearing its ugly head. <laughs> also, like, IRL uh, acts of service get yes. more uh-huh. than even every. Like you actually <laughs> helped my human body. It's, you can have mine. I'm just picturing like Gandalf showing up at the Battle of Minas Tirith, and he's just got like Taco Bell in his hand. It's great. That's so good. I'm so excited to see him. He got have, crunch wraps. I haven't seen that movie, so in my brain, that's what happened. Just picture that's a good Ian McKellen yep. bringing you crunch wraps. That's a good. That's a good. I need a moment. Yeah, okay. <laughs> take a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you two types. 
I did not know what spice level you prefer. It does make you wonder if Gandalf got XP for all the fights that he wasn't in. And he was already he, he was already too high a level. Yeah, it's I true. think he, he was like oh, yeah. the mm-hmm. the enemies were too low level, and he wasn't getting XP by mm-hmm. being with that group. Yeah. So he had to That's go off fair. and yeah. do some like okay. end game yeah. stuff okay, by okay. himself. It's like when Luffy has to like eat a big meal because he's too powerful, and they need like the other guys in One Piece to do some stuff. So like Luffy like eats too much and is like, oh, I ate too much food, and then he fights at the end. You were giving anime uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking long. sorry. I've been reading a lot of One Piece and it's just bleeding out of my mouth. Please continue. Uh, yeah, so d- did Jammy also, was it Jammy's brother that was there? Um, it's unclear. I believe it possibly was Jammy's brother or uh, Jammy could have been just but doing Jamie also another just, solid. But Jammy is just solid all around. Yeah. Yeah. Jammy's, so Jammy's solid. taking the, the brother home. Brother. <laughs> Jammy's yeah. getting everybody food. When, when I heard lunch or like food order that ended the campaign, I was like, someone really went out of their way to pitch something yeah. and they got everyone food poisoning. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just everyone got horrible <laughs> diarrhea and got sick, and they n- didn't want to be friends anymore. That's how I thought this was going to end. If yeah. Jammy got everyone food poisoning, then I could see how this would happen. But Jammy's just solid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We love mm-hmm. Jammy here. Just super, super solid. We're sticking with Jammy. Jammy deserves. Mm-hmm. Okay, so are we siding with Jammy and Ben? Ben was another player who thinks that Jammy was wronged. Are we siding with Jammy and Ben, or are we I'm sentencing the DM? As, obviously, we keep, we tell people to like keep it brief, but uh-huh. I am kind of curious how. <laughs> You well, didn't do how this didn't escalate into a huge, huge fight where everyone's just screaming at the DM. You well, know what I mean? I mean like yeah. how there was any divide other than because just it was being in like, a text message after, right? So all ends oh. well. They get their food. They go home. The DM texts and <laughs> says, think, "Hey, by have, the way, Jamie, I would have said to everyone. I would have said to everyone." DM, are you crazy? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, uh-huh. I think that's what happened. Wait, I, I think, think that's, that's what happened. Yeah, and so, and, like, and everyone, I think they went, DM, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. buck wild. I think yeah. everyone had Jammy's back. And the DM when I quit. Every, as long as everyone had Jammy's <laughs> back, then I'm on everyone's yeah. side, except for the DM side. Okay, so then we have to sentence crazy. the DM. Also, do you guys yeah. fuck with XP? I hate that shit. Yeah, no. I, not really. No, yeah, we I, do all like milestone stuff. bitch all day. Like, Truly, I am truly. A, I am a novelty bitch. I'm like I, I kind of want my players to have new abilities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Respect. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Respect. It's tough to sit there and calculate. I kind of want some new things in play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you want new stuff to do every session. Yeah. I feel like you get to play like, for a home game. A, you get to play, to play like once or twice a month, maybe. Some yeah. people. Some people are living that once a week life. Couldn't be me. Once a Could week. Couldn't be <laughs> me in a home I need game. My are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Got to have it. Mm. Uh, so yeah, we're we're team Jammy, of course. Yeah. Team uh-huh. Jammy. Yeah. This is it. All right. I tried to find a couple of bad DM cases because And this is a very yeah, bad no, this DM. Yeah, this is bad. It's a bad person. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. yeah. Some so, little naughty DM. Do we want to do um uh, devil's advocate and see if we can defend the the DM who okay, um, okay. Uh, DM, didn't it would give be de- XP DM's to advocate. Yeah. yeah, DM's advocate. Yeah. Okay. So how do we how do we spin this? I okay. Let's yeah. do PR for this DM. You have <laughs> two people at the table are brand new players. You have no mm. guarantee they will be back. Or any Ooh. sense that they'll be consistent players. Ooh. So you, you have, have one brother. <laughs> you have one brother, but you have XP. So if that person takes time, or those two people get time, need time to get bought in, mm-hmm. they don't have to show up every week. Like here's your mm. XP. The next time you show up, will be somewhere else, and that's okay. Mm. Play at your pace. You no longer have the pressure to show up every week because you're not bought in yet. That is such mm-hmm. a generous read. Yeah. Here's <laughs> here's my here's my less generous read. <laughs> Jammy's brother was the one who came to spectate. Yeah, so the and it DM was kind of ruining like, the vibe. The just like, like, Jammy, just go to go get us some food, please. Fucking watch me. So you know what? You don't get XP. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about the food. It's about bringing your brother. <laughs> What was Jamie's brother doing that was wrecking the vibe so bad? Just like <laughs> <laughs> on the phone and then yelling a question. That's yeah. great. Just yeah. like loudly yeah. playing TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is early 5D days. <laughs> loudly oh, playing vibes. Yeah. You're wow. right. Just laughing really loudly. So he's just and playing not with like a others. hoop and stick really loudly <laughs> in the <laughs> <laughs> Those halcyon days. <laughs> My neighbor dolls are great. <laughs> S- somebody spectating uh, while you're having like a quasi serious scene, and just somebody Awful. who's like kind of a jock or something would be mm-hmm. so intimidating. Or like just having someone sitting there just being like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and you're just like, like, Dad, a- I'm gonna kill the the necromancer <laughs> who killed you. And then the guy just like, <laughs> All right, <bro. laughs> oh I would quit. 
<laughs> horrified. Yeah, I, I would get a new hobby. I would stop. I would be done. <laughs> yeah, I would be fully done. Yeah. get that brother out of here. Yeah, get that brother out of here. But no, we, we, we audience of one person is the worst thing I can imagine. Yeah. Like audience. <laughs> Just it's all for like, you. Everyone's playing to Jammy's brother. Yeah. yeah. Like after every thing they say, they look. So I pull oh, oh, up ahead oh, the goblin. Oh, like and that. then I, I put my fingers up his nose uh, until uh, he suffocates. Until he freaking pops. Uh, yeah. Or I don't. Right? <laughs> or I don't. Yeah. Would you, Ronald, what do you think? Ronald. <laughs> I'm not oh, taking no. it seriously, Ron. <laughs> okay, so we uh, so, have but, to send in are, someone. We, we are on. We are on Jamie's yeah. side because yeah. this was just we're on DM's Jamie's admin, side. We're, of course, on Jamie's side. Does the DM have to just open a restaurant and then just <laughs> deliver food to all DM <gasps> sessions? Oh, that makes Ooh. sense. Oh, like oh, a ghost DM kitchen. Discount. They have to open like a that. ghost kitchen uh -huh. just yeah. for D and D groups. That's great. It's a little like cart. It's like a little food truck. Oh, oh so he's driving the craft around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Because yeah. like apparently players can't go and get you food, <laughs> yeah. so they need to yeah. stay at their games to get uh, XP. By your right. rules, my friends, no one's getting <laughs> XP and eating. Yeah. So. <laughs> so you have to dump your savings into uh, getting a food truck, and then okay. not making any money off of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah a pro bono you, food truck is here. <laughs> unfortunately, the end. <laughs> It's, it's a friendly ghost kitchen, I guess. It's like a Casper situation. Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right. So ordered. Is that what Jake usually says? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. ordered. Okay. Bink. Yeah. Oh. Next up, we have Helen K. Helen K. writes, may it please the too hot to handle justices of the court and the on par with bailiff John, bailiff Emily. I present to <laughs> wow. you an issue with my player, Silent Wind. <clears throat> um, is mm -hmm. this a... No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. No. It's not. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am DMing, and my group was sneaking through Cannibal Castle. The ranger used wind wall to prevent two guards that noticed them from raising the alarm. And I asked her, is she sure about this and wanted to go through with it? I said that she managed to stop the guards, but extremely loud wind alerted everyone else in the castle to their presence. Oh. They argued with me saying that the wind should be silent. And I told them that high winds are super loud, especially wind <laughs> yeah. that is strong enough to physically damage you. They shot back saying it is magic wind. So just chill, bro. We eventually mm. managed to come to a compromise on an arcana check from the ranger, which they passed. Judges, was it right to acquiesce to their argument? Or should my players have been the Cannibal King's lunch? Hmm. Should have been okay. the lunch. Should have been the lunch? <laughs> yeah. You think even a magical wind's making noise? <laughs> Not unless you do something else to oh, like yeah. qualify. The quiet spell. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, have a great All rangers silence. have passed without trace. If yeah. you say I cast pass without trace on this wind. But also, if you SPD. if someone Damn. in your party has silence, you do this win. Thank you. I see yeah. an opportunity to coordinate. I love silence as a spell, it's and so I, good. I feel like it's underutilized, and yet is also sometimes difficult to utilize. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you know, goes yeah. both ways. Yeah, I, I also think that the way it ended up was good too, because I like because I know like Brandon does that too. It'll be like if you want to use a spell in like a slightly different way than is written, you do an Arcana check to like cast it especially well or yeah. that like yeah. precise way you want to do it. That's cool. But it's also I. Anytime the DM says, are you sure you want to do that? Thank and you, you yeah. say yes, <laughs> you have yeah, to be willing to accept yes. the consequences. <laughs> so yeah, so they were wrong fully. Mm -hmm. You gave them, you like yes. went above and beyond to accommodate them. But yeah, as anytime somebody says something crazy and you go, you do you sure? really want to be crazy right yeah. now? It's also and they really say, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's and also really argue. funny to picture just this huge, like, torrential <laughs> just wind. A tornado. Just, just like yes. dead silent. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Everyone's just like, <laughs> right. Well, no, the people, you would hear the people screaming as their bones were crushed by wind. <laughs> like a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, just I think you should be able to put. You should be able to roll an insight check on the DM when they say that to you. Yeah, <laughs> you say, "Are you, you sure?" You You're like, "Hold on, what am I not thinking about?" <laughs> oh, that wind is loud. Fuck. <laughs> I think that DMs are too nice, and they should not say, "Are you sure about that?" They should say, "Are you sure about that?" You fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be Here's a little why. more clear. Certainly. Do you want to die today? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Were you smoke? looking to die today? <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish for death, stranger? <laughs> We grew up uh, together. What are you saying about that? Also, why don't you go get some food? <laughs> oh, no. My XP. Oh, no. <laughs> my, oh, my XP. My XP's gone. <laughs> oh, Showing Lord. up with a tray of hot dogs as everyone's leveling up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, did we get another level? <laughs> but, uh, not me? <laughs> Shit. I would have spiked all the food on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. What's the yeah, funniest just... food to spike? I think hot dogs is pretty close, Pudding but cup. I feel like, is there something better to spike? Like a cake, a full cake maybe? You're saying like Ooh, throw on the ground, not yeah. like put drugs into? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh God, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Specify. <laughs> we were doing a gesture. <laughs> yeah. Everyone yeah. in the yeah. podcast could hear. Oh, hold on, it's yeah. like this. Yeah, yes. great. Uh, like that. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> He's so Excellent space. physical joke. Um, <laughs> okay, so we are sentencing the, we are sentencing the players then in this. I feel, okay, mm -hmm. I want to walk mm -hmm. it back now. I feel okay. bad because I'm also a GM that's like, mm, okay, I'll allow it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cuties. <laughs> but I think over, overall we are, we're on the DM side no matter what because the players were crazy for arguing, but then also the DM yeah. came up with a nice way. Yeah. To, yeah. I think you mm -hmm. handled it perfectly. Yeah. 100%. But maybe the thing we can rule on is, is this, is, is this magical wind spell loud or not it's definitely loud it's, it's definitely loud because yeah. if it does anything because <laughs> yeah i was gonna say that it's, it's crazy to argue like because it's magic it wouldn't make noise because, mm -hmm. because like i don't know if you're gonna make an argument that it's like harmless or something then what's the point of casting the spell if it's just like yeah. a light breeze or something mm -hmm. then it's not a, a wall of wind anymore yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm real stupid but i do know enough science to know that like when you do that much wind it causes like friction against the molecules in the air and like the friction produces is noise so like I think, think about the molecules think about the molecules you just said I'm molecules. stupid and then said multiple and then said words so much science that that's where I was I, yeah, that's where I was so much. I don't know anything about science but science 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 alright here's the thing when you preface it by saying I'm stupid if you're wrong it doesn't count right uh, you're giving me that guy so may not be a big city lawyer yeah. but <laughs> exactly someone just written lawyer. three paragraphs on the Patreon <laughs> being like <laughs> actually <laughs> molecules <laughs> are frictionless because <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you fooled me. I'm ready to take science. I heard, I'm ready to take I heard AP friction biology. and I was just yeah, game. Sold. I was, mm -hmm. I was on board. It's enough for you. Okay, so we need to sentence someone because this court okay. means nothing if we don't. <laughs> if we don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, so okay. So we're on the DM side because the players were uh, quite ridiculous here. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> a bit silly. And you, uh, silly. You, went up, you went above and beyond for them. Mm -hmm. um, so, something wind related perhaps? Oh, I like that. Oh, you know what would be actually? Oh, wait, no. This I keep, sometimes I think of like nice things. Well, we can do something nice we for the DM. Nice we yeah. can do a nice thing for the DM. We can't okay, do like um, the players like, have to drive into a wind, tornado. Yeah, the players have to drive <laughs> into yeah. a tornado. Wind is just nice and yeah. easy, right? With a bunch right? of those ping pong balls from that tornado. From yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. we've all been thinking about Twister the whole time. Yeah, first time you drop it and you did it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I've seen Twister. Wind is loud. Yeah, actually, no. They have to watch. Twister twice. Yeah. Yeah. Twister Back twice. to one sitting. And you then, gotta do and a twister. Go yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And then I think for the DM, we give them a little spa day that's like all wind, right? Oh, that's cool. So, like kind of like uh, a wind bath? Hair styled by the wind. Mm. Sort of like, <laughs> is oh, a wind bath a thing? Hair styled by the wind. I was like, gonna do that. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like just really gentle touches from mm. like a gentle wind. Just I, like a masseuse going like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I've never wanted anything less than the person blowing on me. Just blowing on in you? My mind, it's like, in my mind, it's just wind that's doing it, not a person blowing. But if that's hell, what you hell. want, then I that's also hell. will do that. Okay. What if we give the DM like a little Beyonce fan? Okay. So whenever they're doing narrative. Yeah. Oh, oh that's my oh, shit. Okay, so, that's really so good. So your players have to watch Twister twice, yeah. and you get a little fan that during intense moments you can turn on. Yeah. And yeah. Go, yeah. And we're gonna give you a little PA <laughs> like, that will like sorry. wave a big piece of iron that's gonna make like a Ooh, thunder noise. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Okay, I love it. Okay. And you can watch Twister as many times as you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They can Just only the one watch time. It twice. Twister, Thrister, as many times as you wanna go. Yeah. <laughs> so ordered. Next up we've got you and G to the effort. <laughs> To the effort, for some reason, a lot of people said effervescent, and I'm feeling it. It's wow. good. To yeah. the effervescent. They're a lot more respectful to you than they are to Jay. There were some people yeah. who were mean, and I have to be honest, I loved it too. Um, <laughs> to the effervescent bailiff Emily and pretty great justices, I uh -huh. bring to you the it. case of the dog on camera. We play online, and a few of our players oh, okay. have dogs. Oh, okay. Occasionally, hmm. players will turn on their camera to show what their dogs are doing. I'm not a dog person and do not understand the fascination myself. <laughs> 
off. But oh, no. the others like it. I, okay, a lot of other, uh, a lot of people are gonna turn against this person right away. I yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, it's a very uh-huh. bitter cat person yeah, yeah, because yeah. people hate cats so much and yeah. feel the need. I do have resentment for dogs. Interesting. Sure. Okay. But just a, to phrase it like, I'm not a dog tough. person. I don't quite understand what these organisms are up to. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's a very Even weird just way to that quote it. that uh-huh. I said, I have resentment for dogs. I feel uncomfortable saying. I yeah. think yeah. some of the things that people that they say later mm-hmm. will maybe tickle you guys in a way that you okay. understand where this person is coming I'm from. On, right. I'm, on, I'm on you inside right okay. now. We have a player who isn't very invested in the role playing part of D&D. He will often keep himself muted while the others are holding scenes unless his dog is in the room, in which case he will switch on the camera to show his very vocal dog and turn on his mic so he so we can hear the adorable pupper making noises mm, and uh, playing with us. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's, a couple on words, there's a couple words in here that <laughs> um, one that you know is coming. Last <laughs> session, we had a scene where one character was begging their brother not to throw their life away in a doomed attempt to protect a town of Myconids from a demon prince. This player saw his dog, turned on the camera and his mic, and let his dog cry and whine into it, drowning out the entire scene. While I wanted to have him him harshly server muted other players in the group say it's a cute doggo and but the pupper wants to play with us <gasps> I'm, I'm not the dm yeah. so can't rule no dogs at the table myself do i have a leg Oof. to stand on if i s- insist no dogs at the virtual table you <laughs> are I, I like this, this one is be- good. i like this, this is one because totally. it's it's so polarizing yeah. in so yeah. many ways people who are dog people <laughs> then hear pupper yeah. and doggo and uh-huh. are like wait but i'm not that you can, <laughs> you can feel the dog uh, people on this half. You need to like, embrace, <laughs> embrace the heel. This, I, these people are annoying as hell. I stood with you. These people I are so annoying. <laughs> My God, that's I so annoying. You. And you're heck an adorable puppo. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we know where we know where I stand. <laughs> Um, I just th- there's a time and a place for your heck and scream. I'm gonna leap oh, over the table and attack you. I want to throw hands. Oh, yeah. well, you'll do a visual joke, Murph. You'll do it. <laughs> no, I described it. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Show not tell. Fuck, it's your tight. <laughs> tell not show on the podcast. <laughs> I've got nothing. Um, oh, God, <sighs> this is so funny. Right? It's yeah. a ride. Right? It's so you go funny because you, you are in four, an impossible four, position. Four, yeah. You have to. You mm-hmm. have to. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ban dogs yes. at the table. That you just have sounds to the so wild. Some to people say. are born to change the world for the better, right. mm-hmm. and they don't get to live in that good world because he's going to die. <laughs> yeah. He will be martyred at yeah. the cross. You unfortunately of being the one to be like no dog. You live in no interesting dogs times. Just unfortunately, to get you guys to stop saying pupper and dog. Out. Exactly. <laughs> one, it's a dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is also. I'm gonna give a good old fashioned Murph ruling. You Great. need new friends. Yeah. You, just, yeah. you, you gotta get. Go. You gotta get new ones. Uh, God, I would say <laughs> if had this not escalated to pupper and stuff, this all. Mm-hmm. What, what was the What was the person's name before? That yeah, was the yeah. nice person. Was it Jam? Jammy. 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 Okay. Jamie's this has Jammy's who... brother vibes of <laughs> having a serious <laughs> scene of <laughs> pleading with your brother about something. It's like, please, we cannot face the hobgoblins alone. <laughs> and then somebody's just like, look at my dog, man. <laughs> yeah, Why? I think beyond so, the obvious, like, uh, annoying language. Beyond doggo and It is kind of pupper. like, it yes. would be a little disappointing to, it would be a little yeah. intense to just have a dog whining in the background. Be like, of, hey of guys, chicken salad's on camera now. <laughs> Stop it, that's a cat name and you know also, it. And like eating your mic while you say that. Hey guys, hey. <laughs> yeah, like. My beagle just, just fell asleep. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> like, listen, it's snoring a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. how 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 does this person navigate the situation? Well, we there's... have to. I mean, this is a quote. We have to sentence someone. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, of course we sentence so the, the doggo the final, people. Yeah, the, the dog person is bad. Thing was, do I have a leg to stand on if I insist no dogs at the virtual table? I don't know that you do. If you're at a table 
if you're at a virtual table where everyone's excited about the dogs, yeah. I don't think that you can insist that. You can, you can be like, specifically they mentioned that instance of somebody doing a role play session and then like, Focused on the mm -hmm. the dog. Yeah. I think you could say like no more stuff like that. Yeah. I think you no dogs during role play. <laughs> I think you are absolutely correct, and I think it it would be very funny for you to just say don't show your dogs ever. Dog <laughs> ban. That's very funny villain behavior. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unfortunately, the world's just not made for people like us, <laughs> and people will get mad at you. Um, but uh, is there a way where you can just be like, hey, could you like uh, like Get cool. the dog or like you cool it or just mute yourself real quick. It all sounds bad. It all sounds bad to say. I don't know. I, think, you know, I think you could say like no dogs on the mic. Like yeah. you can turn on yeah. your camera to show your dog. Oh. But like no, no dogs, dogs on the mic, the mic. while yeah. we're okay. playing. But even, like, even just dog. <laughs> can you that imagine is. just a dog chasing its tail on video while you're like doing a scene I would where, be so yeah. distracted by that. Uh -huh. I have to be honest. I would not be. I would just be watching the dog. Yeah. <laughs> like just. Look, that's when you put a little post-it note over the like bad frame. There you go. And you keep moving on. Like if you know there's a person that's going to constantly do that, you're like, yeah, moving mm -hmm. on. And now I'm going to cry about my brother, dad, something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I'm sorry. Which I family member were we crying about? Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, I think you have grounds to be like, hey, can we have maybe like, maybe like dog meeting time up top? Like, mm -hmm. let's all talk about it. But the point know. is the dog, the dog is doing something like heckin' that. cute right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad to say. I, it's not bad. <laughs> it was, it did like it. It, we were so young. It made me ill. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I so think you got to say, are we sentencing? yeah. We're sentencing the players. Okay. Yeah, we got to sentence the players. And how are we sentencing them? Mm. They, uh, <laughs> they had to let their dogs go. <laughs> no, <laughs> they had to leave the them in a park. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just just they, the no, they have they to pay to for a dog open. babysitter. <laughs> yeah. That's good. And, they, oh, that's and there's a good. cute little dog, and they can watch you know on a do? screen yeah. on their phone what their dog is doing, oh, so but they can't too, force everyone to do it. That's great too, because it's also pro business. There you go. There you go. You got to shell out for one of those fancy dog hotels where they all get to go in the swimming pool. Exactly. Yeah. And like, it's so fancy that they have like, Four uh, golden retrievers like on staff just to like pad the numbers it's like a little bit. Oh, I like in the that. City, they yeah. go to a hotel. You talk Why about this movie so much. Second time I've heard about that mm -hmm. movie in like two days. It's Re heart wrenching. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, oh, so how do we? Oh, so we. Yeah. So have, they got they got to put their dogs up in a dog hotel mm -hmm. while they play, and okay. also like you have that. to send thirty five American dollars to a uh, cat person. Just okay. a cat person? Just a cat, cat person. I thought you were going to say a charity. You're like, no, just no, 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 a person. No, no, no. Just a cat just person. Just you, a man <laughs> yeah, that owns cats. To Brian and Marie. Send it to the PO box. Send it on Zell. <laughs> you also okay. have to write four postcards from your dog's perspective from the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> now, and those I read. Can them. I visit the hotel? Okay. <laughs> so ordered. Next up, we have... Oh, this is actually, we're doing a little, I got a couple good Dice Christ confessions, so we're going to do a mid-session confession. Oh, wow. Mid-session mid confession. confession. Hans D says- This is like when you go to church on Wednesday. What? Well, I feel like we've, <laughs> we've really, really Is tried. it Ash Wednesday already? <laughs> it's Ash Wednesday. I know. The only time I ever did that, I went to a Lutheran school. Uh, I got a really bad like reaction. <gasps> a ra I had a rash of a cross on my forehead. Oh, no. And kids told me I was uh, possessed by a demon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Which is cool for a third grader to hear. You're like, I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right. just psoriasis. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's guys. actually really itchy though, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Hans D writes, to the clergy of Dice Christ, I come to you with a confession today. My wife and I had a beautiful wedding back in July and we demonstrated our unity by rolling two dice down our dice tower. The officiant- Did someone roll a one during their ceremony? <laughs> you know they did, you know they The did. officiant explained to the wedding <laughs> attendees that we love playing Dungeons and Dragons and okay. that the D20 was used frequently in the game. Okay. A 20 was pretty much a guarantee for success and a one could lead to failure and Double. difficult roads ahead. Double that one. We went, on, we went ahead and rolled our <laughs> dice and I ended up rolling a natural one. Yes! Oh! The officiant announced excitedly that I had rolled a 20, which he said he would do regardless of the number. My oh. wife rolled after me and actually got a natural 20, oh, no. which ended with all of us legitimately being excited and incredible incredibly surprised. The attendees cheered and seemed to love this unity ceremony. The officiant explained how amazing it, this was
was and that the statistics of actually getting two nat 20s was pretty rare. At the reception, our attendees kept saying how amazing this was and asking if our dice were weighted. <laughs> so to the clergy of Dice Christ, we ask you if Dice Christ would truly be offended by the small fibbage on the beautiful wedding day of two D&D nerds or if Dice Christ would bless the ceremony and the newlyweds regardless, we patiently await your grace with ju or judgment. So we all think divorce, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. This is yeah, over yeah it's pretty catastrophic. Yeah. Divorce, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that that's how and it's his fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's unfortunately yeah. your fault. <laughs> you began your relationship with a lie. <laughs> it's yeah. predicated, it on, was predicated a lie. on a lie. I would only be. I wouldn't be mad uh -huh. if I was the the other partner and rolled okay. But only because of the nat twenty. <laughs> yeah. I, that's the thing is I think I think Dice Christ Dice Christ has already had some cheeky little fun with you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Dice Giving Dice you the nat twenty yeah. after you already lied about the uh, yeah. First that one. was like that was almost like impish, like kind of like I see you. Yeah, here's the nat twenty that you just said you got. Yeah. <laughs> um, Explain so, this. Explain this away. It's fun really funny to wife. me to uh, leave this on on us telling you to get divorced, so yeah, you have to get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> you can get remarried after, but you do have to get you divorced. Get remarried. Yeah. You have to do one of those like, re like you have to renew your vows. Yeah, yeah, you have to renew it's your been, vows. Oh, that's smart. Like yeah. four months, but you have to renew them <laughs> now. Yeah, yeah that's need, right. Yeah. At, at the time of this, mm -hmm. renew your vows, yes. and if either of you gets a nat one, yeah. <laughs> you have to. You own it, and you say for better or for worse. It's in the vows. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you say for better. You have to find yeah. You have to find a registered DM and roll in front of <gasps> yes! them in front of <laughs> the table to renew your vows. Tables. I'm gonna become a notary public so I can be <laughs> the, in charge the of The idea of it being your wedding and just sweating as people talk to you and like, I can't believe you got two nat twenties. <laughs> I'm just sitting I, there uh -huh, being like, uh -huh. I know. <laughs> That's crazy. the part that made me want to choose this. It's like someone just like so whole, good. You spend your entire you honestly you did your penance, which is you spent your entire reception <laughs> lying yeah, to your friends yeah, yeah. and family. Never, yeah. Just over You've and over gone again. Through yep. way more than you ever really rare. Yeah. Statistically so You've rare. You've gone through way more than you should have had to. <laughs> yep. You lied, is real. You lied to an amount of people who don't care about the truth. <laughs> That's the hard part. <laughs> it's like, so your aunt funny. is there and she doesn't care about mm -hmm. the truth. You still have to lie to her. The efficient is so slick for like keeping it going. Just being like, seeing that second that 20, just keeping it stone faced and just being like, that's really statistically rare. So <laughs> just I was say, keeping I it going, that that's the officiant awesome. Yeah. Is like quietly throwing a grenade in by digging the heels so deep yeah. by being like, I, I would have done another nat done 20. Thing. Statistically so rare. Truly, this day is blessed. <laughs> While you sit there and know it's a fucking Sweating. lie. <laughs> and that's why you have to have a dice camera at your wedding. Yes, <laughs> a dice camera and also luck points. Oh, mm. well, luck. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Explain okay. to your entire family what luck points That's are. That's very funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're like, actually, I have halfling luck. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, you're five, eight, Ted. What are you? What? Uh, if everyone looks under your chairs <laughs> and you'll see a player's handbook, <laughs> <laughs> open yeah. to the feats page. <laughs> just it's super tense. I can reroll. <laughs> it's okay. Hold on. We'll just say you got an at twenty. I can reroll. <laughs> Okay. So you want to do good. this? <laughs> you are you are absolved. Your uh, ceremony was already ruined. <laughs> your, your, your reception, your reception was, your reception uh, was at least complicated yeah, by how much you had to pretend. Yeah. <laughs> okay, luck. next up from oh Trevor W. This is back to D and D court cases. Good. Um, it was Fine. just a mid session confession. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you want another confession? Because I can do it. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Don't do it. What's Don't happening? do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dear honorable judges and hemp milk drinking bailiff Emily, I had a DM who ran two different it's, groups. It's a, oh, okay. We can, you know what? It's been a while since we talked about yeah, hemp milk on the yeah. podcast. I would so, let Abria no, live in no, the confusion. I think I want to no. hear Abria's take on the hemp milk song. So oh, a long, we're gonna a long it up. time okay. ago, okay. Um, Emily had this used to have court. a song about court. about hemp milk. Um, I used to make my own hemp milk. She used to make her own hemp Which... milk, and she would sing a hemp milk song to me. The Aww. listeners uh, mm -hmm. know about this because it was so crazy. Because em it was a call and response song. Yeah. But she would. Yes. So M, give me the give okay. us the song, please. Okay. So what I so it's basically like give me a hemp. 
milk. Ham. You got your hemp. You got your milk. So yeah. he's so the response is him saying milk. Got it. He says, but I can't give me, give me a ham. ham. So it's why would be, you yeah. say <laughs> yell milk? Why would you yell milk? Right. <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> Actually, great D and D core. We can get a, Here we an go. An official <laughs> ruling. <laughs> New list. That is. It's also. <laughs> It's extremely worth mentioning that to make hemp milk, you have to repeatedly whack hemp with a bag. You have a yeah, bag. Yeah, you, you put all you the hemp bag, seeds. Yeah. I have a yeah. nut milk bag. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. people at home yeah. that haven't made which it. Which is why I live in California. It can be a little laborious, which is yes. why you need a nice call and response you need a song. song yeah. to get but it's not a call and response because you're telling me. Okay. So let's do. You called for a different response. Well, I like to be defied. Okay, Emily, I have a bag here. Like to be defied is very good. <laughs> That's okay. What do you? Okay, so you're gonna make hemp milk from your just if oh, you so need a prop. Some dice milk. So yeah. let's hear. So for Abria's sake, let's yeah. hear Murph's version. Okay. Give me a hemp. Hemp. <laughs> but you can just write a different song. You know what? I'm not thirsty anymore. <laughs> oh my god! Honestly, that was so damning. I'm back on your side. And, then, yeah. and then your version of the song. <laughs> Give me a hemp. Milk. You got gotcha. your hemp. You got gotcha. your gotcha. milk. <laughs> You get excited when you hear milk is the thing. Okay. I've always wanted to yell milk as loud as I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then uh, let's get back to Trevor W. Uh, I am going to read it from the start again so we can hear it again. Good Dear call. Honorable Judges and Hemp Milk Drinking, Bailiff Emily. Now you have a real context for that. <laughs> um, I had a DM who ran two different groups. We always joked about who the crazier party was and who would win in a 4v4 level 10 PvP Ooh. until... Finally, it was set to happen. We all made characters, picked magic items. Each team was given two uncom uncommon and talked strategy for a whole week until the day before someone asked if two bags of holding within each other was allowed in the context of our one shot. The DM said yes, which launched some players into fits of complaints and others started trying to figure out how to use this loophole to astral nuke the other team away yep. with no way of returning. Ultimately, mm -hmm. the controversy ended up causing the cancellation of the PVP and the disbandment of both groups. I wow. asked you, were the players right to be upset? Would you allow the bag nuke? How does Whoa. the bag nuke work? I, I don't know. It's so put, you got it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I, oh, yeah, I, I, listen, I'm an idiot. I don't know how science works. <laughs> Stop! You're going to explain the friction of the two bags you're having against each other. <laughs> yeah, so the rule for bags of holding, uh, and similarly with like ha haversacks, is you can't put another one inside it or it just sort of like they divide against themselves and explode mm -hmm. and everything everything gets blasted to the astral sea, astral sea yeah. I think. Ah. So it's one of those little like, yeah, everyone has that like, well, if I drop one in another mm -hmm. one. Oh, it's a oh, Coke and Mentos okay. in the yeah, yeah, yeah. world. So essentially, yeah, you throw, okay. Yeah. This just seems like a bunch of the players were like, <laughs> we read the book. <laughs> <laughs> we read all the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's also weird though, because it's, it's about the players versus the other players and not the yeah. characters. And yeah. that's kind of freaking me out. Yeah. Because they rolled new characters for this PvP, like the PvP. So I feel like they were taking this very, very I, personal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's also, I think it's also like you're taking away the fun of PvP with a nuke because it, then there's no fight. Why even build yeah. characters yeah, exactly. if you just yeah. and it's also like yeah. you're you're setting this up basically like a sport match. And like yeah. sports matches have rules. Like, yeah. you know, that yeah. would be illegal. You can't, you can't bring you like You can't just have like a, Ezekiel Elliott show up to the <laughs> stadium with a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the Cowboys won. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Elliott was the one that detonated it. Yeah. So <laughs> he just showed up with that yeah. football. <laughs> The nuclear football. <laughs> that was good. You brought it back to the thing you. in the world. <laughs> and now everyone knows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like, I mean, I guess the DM probably should have squashed this as soon as it started to get heated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? This person kind of ends with, would you allow the bag nuke? And no. I think it would be fine to be like, I don't think that's going to be the most interesting PvP. Yeah. yeah. No. Does it does it say how far the, the bag nuke <laughs> explodes? Like, is there... I it, think, is it just I think like, there is. Uh, I think it's very specifically like written in. Like mm -hmm. interesting. This is if it was just if it was just like yeah, an exactly. attack, uh, you know, normal attack range. Mm -hmm. I might allow it because it's just like yeah, if it's an uncommon item or whatever, I could see people getting uh, a, a creative with it. 
I think you have to, if you want this, you have to factor it into the game. You have to have each player's team has one bag of holding. Yeah. So then there's like the to option to create the nuke, but like oh. it requires- You have to steal their yeah. bag. Oh, that's okay. fun, because yeah. now it's capture the bag. Whoa, yes. Wait, the now bag. Bag. Oh, so we made the game better. Do it now. Yeah. We made the I game still better. think though that that's its own game, right? Yeah, 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 that's yeah. still mm -hmm. not PVP. Oh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. you should yes. limit your uh, item selection to like one- mm -hmm uncommon level like weapon. Yeah. yeah. So if you're a caster, you get one thing that can boost your casting. Yeah. If you're a melee fighter, you get one thing. Like, cause then all you're doing if you get to pick two magic items is trying to pick the cheekiest combination. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all right, like Smash Brothers, the, like you leave some items off. I've got yeah, exactly. the bag of thing <laughs> here. Okay, so if the bag is overloaded, pierced or torn, it ruptures and is destroyed and its contents are scattered in the astral plane. The bag is turned inside out, blah, blah, blah. Placing a bag of holding inside an extra dimensional, extra dimensional space created by a handy haversack, portable hole, or similar item instantly mm. destroys both items. So in this case, two uh, bags of holding, um, and opens a gate to the astral plane. The gate originates where the one item was placed inside the other. Any creature within ten feet of the gate is sucked through it to a random location on the astral plane. Then the oh. gate closes. The gate is one way only and can't be reopened. So this so isn't really oh, oh, a formation. You don't really it blew up. Is this? Yeah, this is just. Yeah. A Huh. Yeah, I feel like I, I mean you hmm. could suck someone out of the game, but you wouldn't you based on player formation. You something something, something blows up. Oh, this is some like Berenstein Bears <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. The Mandela effect. Because I could have sworn it blew up. I th I think that I, I wonder if just like the visual that would be described by it mm -hmm. sounds like it's an explosion. No, I almost. think it's that it, they get sucked. They get into sucked the in, so it is like to the black hole. Yeah, yeah. so it is like a black so it's like hole. You so it win is like kind by of the absence mm -hmm. of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think in this, which doesn't even feel like besting someone. Really, it might just, feel like a shallow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just like it's like having the Super Bowl, but there's a large hadron collider on the field, <laughs> and like maybe it's going to open a wormhole. You don't know. Whoa, mm -hmm. that's fun. It's kind of fun. It's bulky. It's going to be bulky. Certain needs to build a football. <laughs> what is? I, I think it's kind of it's kind of interesting because they're allowed to have uncommon items. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an uncommon item. If people decide that they want to take that, I think it's a fun strategy. But also, the person who is going to put the bag inside the other bag is going to get sucked in. Almost certainly. Almost yeah. certainly, mm -hmm. unless they are going to throw it or something like that. And if you do that, Mage that's going to require maybe. some kind of check mm -hmm. Ooh, or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. But even with Mage Hand, yeah, Mage Hand has what, like 30 feet of distance or something mm -hmm. like that? So you could do it with a Mage Hand. But it's yeah. like, this is but gonna be like a black hole. Things. You're gonna have people who are gonna get sucked in and then they're not gonna be able to play at all, which seems against the spirit of the game. Yeah. 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 It seems you should play the spirit of the game and kill them and reduce the HP to zero. Yeah. yeah. That's the right way to prove which group is the best. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, so hmm. um, who are we? I guess we're gonna uh, sentence the DM I, for not <laughs> for allowing it, right? I got to be honest, it doesn't sound that bad. I mean, it, it's it's very clever. I think that the mistake was once this turned into fighting, the DM yeah. should have just stepped in and been like, "All right, all right, let's <laughs> let's yeah. cut this, cut it." You, you know? don't need a bag of holding in a PVP fight. Like, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> what other stuff are you holding? I only yeah. gave you one other item. If you hold that in your other hand, <laughs> it's really only fun if it's something that's there as like a surprise, because then it's yeah, kind of funny. Yeah. Like mm. if we're playing PVP right now and opening thing, Abria throws a bag at me and throws another bag at me and I disappear. Well, that's really funny. <laughs> it's, it's just really like, well, they had then... two common items, yeah. uncommon <laughs> items, and that's yeah. what they chose. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's, I don't know. <laughs> you have two attacks and they're both just throwing a bag. Yeah, they both <laughs> just throw a bag, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, who are we sentencing? Anyone? Um, yeah, I guess. Well, this they... one's, Weird because it's like we're being asked to like make a specific ruling. Yeah. As they opposed said, to would like, you would you <clears throat> allow? No, would, the, you, yeah. would you allow? Okay. I <sighs> want to sentence them to having to play this out with the one bag on each team rules. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Capture the bag. Capture, capture the bag. Capture right. the bag. So oh, that's a great idea. Capture the bag. Capture the bag. You must yeah. play capture the bag, even though none of you are friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Repair your friendship with a contentious capture the bag. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. So ordered. Great. Now I have one that is like actual real life drama. Whoa. Ooh, okay. You, you were telling us Ooh, about this I like off the, mic. It's, yeah. it's juicy. It's a little too juicy, maybe. It might be too juicy. Would okay. you like to I've hear it and never decide? Had too much juice. If it's too juicy, <laughs> give give it to us. Give us the juice. It's like real drama. <laughs> real it's drama. I want to like, know. 
CW level drama. Oh, is shit. that okay. even still a network? All I don't right. know. <clears throat> who could say? Some <laughs> guy who likes chicken writes in. It gets more. It gets more serious. Okay. To the angelic justices and the impish bailiff, I Ooh. present a case of romance and treachery. May it please the court. Oh. Me and my long-term girlfriend are currently playing in a campaign with an old friend of mine as the DM. My girlfriend's character is involved in a passionate relationship with an NPC played by the DM, and I'm starting to feel uncomfortable during their role-playing scenes. Mm. I wouldn't mind except for two things. Firstly, I've played D&D with my friend for about five years, and he's never expressed interest in role-playing romance before as a player or as a DM, and he hasn't pursued it with other characters in the campaign. Secondly, a few months ago, my friend told me while drunk that he has feelings for my girlfriend no. and he would never try anything, but <sighs> thought I should know. At the time, I told him it was okay, he can't control his feelings after all, but now it kind of seems like he is trying something. I haven't spoken to my girlfriend about it for fear I'm overreacting, but justices, I have to know, am I being a jealous Jake? You need to talk to everyone about this. <laughs> you, need to talk you. To, you need to talk to your girlfriend about this. No. You gotta talk. Is to your girlfriend, you, to you gotta talk to your dad. <laughs> you need to talk. You gotta talk to everybody. You, you talk have to go to therapy. Talk to your dad. We all gotta talk. Talk to, your ma- talk to your male person. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Em, you were right. Talk to your dog this one's. It's I love it. Yeah. I know. That's why I, I was like, this it. is fascinating. <laughs> I would like to bring up the oh option that goodness. this is yeah. that some guy who likes chicken, the uh, submitter yeah. mm-hmm. submitted it. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think that there is uh, the pivot is that the DM mentioned having feelings. Like, yeah, yeah. So that, when I got to I, that, yeah. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, because uh, when, 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 when it first started <laughs> off, I was kind of like, ah. Uh, I could see it's just like they might be overreacting, but at the same mm-hmm. time, it's like you shouldn't have to play at a table with like if even if even if you're not involved yeah. with anyone at the table, if yeah. two people are just like we're fucking and making out and everything, and if you're like I don't want to be at that table, I don't want to do that. You have the right to like talk to other people and be like, hey, I don't I don't know that I want to go this deep into it. Mm-hmm. Let alone like yeah. you know you're like romantically involved with the people at the table, so it's a little weird. <laughs> then the so on top good. of it, that the guy <laughs> actually <laughs> has <laughs> feelings. <laughs> Is so good. so bad. Let me let me ask the and question. The it makes me it. squeeze my legs the first, together. Yeah. The first <laughs> half of this, the first half of this is a regular D and D court yeah. question. Yeah. and the it is now it's good. Riverdale. Yeah. Now this is full of Riverdale. Yeah, know. a guy who likes chicken. Uh, I know a guy who likes chicken. His name is Freaking Jughead. <laughs> yeah, I know a guy who likes chicken, and it's your fucking friend. Yeah, okay. My God. You like chicken, so does your friend. Good so Lord. does your DM. But the yeah. girlfriend is just loving it. I think it's just like but. Ba, That's ba, ba. <laughs> this is great. This is that great. is really funny. That's yeah. the question, though. Like, Ooh. when you're watching these Ooh. scenes, like, do they have chemistry? Is it? I bet is they something do. working? I, I bet they, they do. They do. They probably, but I will yeah. say, as a, we are all performers, yeah. mm-hmm. I've had incredible chemistry with people that I don't have feelings for. Hundred percent true. So, like, that is not indicative, though it can be indicative. Yeah. Mm. But it's often not. But it can be. <laughs> Look, we're living in a like a, a <laughs> post. A court of fame flower society. Uh, I had NPCs in the bag. I was like, I'm gonna flirt with everyone at the table yeah. so hard if they give me two looks. Like, right. Well, here's what I built for you. Time to a romance. I All of these people. I, some, I don't know very well. Flirted with you. Yeah. <laughs> I love wow. that. It was great. God, I love just like pressing my piggy little nose against the window of this case. Yes! I know. It's so messy. Oh, it's so, so messy. Pulling, pulling, oh, pulling, it's pulling so someone messy. In, aside and being like, just so you know, I love your girlfriend, but I'd never do anything. <laughs> what? I'd never do anything. Thing. Not in this world. You, you are much too I'd never kind. do anything but schmoody the barkeep <laughs> at the fish and ale tavern, mate. <laughs> this is crazy. I think you were even you were even too nice to not Good get mad goodness. at your friend like yes. right off the bat. That, you know yeah. what I mean? Is to be like, oh, like you can't control your feelings. It's like you kind of can though. Yeah. Or like you you can be like a mature adult. Like you don't mm-hmm. have to. <laughs> question. Oh, question. Do we suggest that maybe this person talk to the friend before they talk to the girl? friend because it might be the more respectful thing to the friend and even like not having to wrap the girlfriend up in this and make her feel weird like it might be the thing to be like hey um 
remember that conversation we had about you having feelings for my girlfriend mm -hmm. then also this super romantic thing um what's going on there? Oh, that. <laughs> I That's think just Schmoody being Schmoody. I think you <laughs> just, just go straight. I think you go straight to the girlfriend and really? you say everything. Look, okay, the everything? moment. Okay. The moment this DM made their like their feelings, the other person like not chicken chicken lovers problem. <laughs> yeah. Like, ugh, there's something so weird. It's like I have to tell you. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're like, I they have don't. to tell you. They don't. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Can, you can yeah. absolutely. Whoa, you're you can right. absolutely shut the fuck up. Totally. You're right. It's like, yeah. If, 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 if you're if never going like, to do anything, yeah. I don't need, to, I don't know. need to know. Yeah, if yeah. if Caldwell's like, I really hate Murph's glasses or something, mm -hmm. and then just like, like right before we started recording, was like, hey, Murph, I just like, I need to get this off my chest. I hate the way you look. <laughs> like, that's not a good, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to agree to talk about this. This is is haunting me, and I'm not going to do anything about I need you. You to be I need, by you. Exactly. I need you to yeah. shoulder <laughs> this with me. Your emotional Crazy. burden oh, is not my problem. Ducky. Yeah, yeah you're, you can just keep keep it to yourself. Thank you. <laughs> but also, everyone stop, moves through yeah. stuff in their own my time, God. and you don't have like, to bring other people into also, it. Also, what a I, what a bad idea to if if this DM. Let's say, let's say this DM wasn't a crazy person mm. and didn't uh, go confess to their friend that they're in love with their <laughs> girlfriend or whatever. Even if they didn't do that, but they had a crush on them, and mm -hmm. so they're just trying to like, you know, keep, keep it, keep it, whatever. For then that DM to go and like make traps for themselves by having like like this, romances with the per with the, with the person is this crazy. This nasty yeah. little DM wanted it's to be so caught. It's so nasty. Ah, no. The DM what? The DM <laughs> wanted to be caught and then it was like, you're taking too long to realize my love, so well, I'm just gonna oh tell you. Oh my God. And yeah, you're right, this, <sighs> they wanna be caught. They wanna be caught. It's they want like a this shot. Is multiple sessions too, right? Like yeah. this is going Sounds on. Like like this is... It, normally when you're DMing, you have like a little like period after the session where you're like, how did that go? Let me replay everything that happened. Yeah. Let me look at my notes. Let me <laughs> look at my romantic. literal notes that I took. And you're like, huh, and I have so many hearts around this one person's name. <laughs> Huh. That's oh well. Time to play some combat. I have a memory of yeah. everyone else looking a little uncomfortable. Yep. <laughs> so I launched into minute thirty-five of my scene oh my God. with Esmeralda. <laughs> <laughs> or I, I suggest you just blow all this up. And yeah. just, blow it just up, go baby. tell your girlfriend. Go everything. to the girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Blow it up. <laughs> Also, I just truly feel like five years is not a close enough friendship. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. you're right. You literally like had a thing that would cause concern in any D&D game anyway, and then followed it up with this information. And now you expect me to consider like yeah. to have all of that and sit and watch that with the extra context that you have. Mm -hmm. You're not that good a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Because a good friend would pine away slowly and quietly. Right. Like they did in the olden days. Right. Yeah. yeah. Put a little blouse on in yeah. a bathtub. <laughs> with one little locket. On a rock yeah. 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 These people it need to get a lot. Like, Normalize pining. <laughs> yeah. Normalize quiet pining. Normalize quiet pining. I also just You're like, and you fools. I also You're just you fools. really, really like almost the slow, like I can't help but see this very filmic of like a person with them on either side and just the slow, slow zoom into their face as we hear this incredibly sexual romantic scene <laughs> happening and just like, just sitting there just with like a really forced smile. This is great role play, guys. This is awesome. This is really DMs good. put on like a real nice Inya track in the background. Yeah. I check for traps. Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> I, I hope y'all get what you need. Because <laughs> this is, That's this so is real juicy. people. This is real life. And yeah. gosh, I hope y'all can figure there's this out. No, hey, there's email no me with how this goes after. Yeah. I want to give us an update. update. Give I want to update. blow it all up. <laughs> blow it up. Tell your girlfriend everything. Me. Yeah. Okay. So I think you have to, because yeah, I'm, I'm like sort of joking me. around, but yeah. also like, I think first off, if someone if someone pulled me aside and was like, I've been in love with Emily this whole time, I'd be like, I've done that first to you off, twice. First <laughs> off. <laughs> and I was like, Apriya, please. There's a ring in your pocket. You can't, yeah, do, this to, you can't do this to me. <laughs> she likes you more. You can't do this. The diamond is huge. <laughs> Nothing but the best for my expert. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, continue, continue. No, but if, if somebody said that to me, I'd be like, dude, what the fuck is the matter with you? And then I would go, I would go home and I'd be like, Emily, yes. this guy is crazy. Like he, yeah. this, he did the stupidest shit. Can you believe this? Yeah, you're, you're right. You, you got it, Knowing yeah. that, like the fact that he told you, uh, you're right, you're totally right. This is someone kind of being like, 
share this burden with yeah, me. They put yeah, this on yeah, you for no yeah. reason. You're being yeah. you're being much too nice. You gotta talk to some people. This yeah. will be like a true <laughs> test because like if your friend can recover from this, like if you blow this up and they're like, you know what, I was wrong. That's fucked up. I'm gonna back off. Things are gonna be like better now. And if they improve, then yeah, maybe that maybe is maybe, a lifelong yeah. friend. Yeah. That's mm. crazy. <laughs> All right. There's just so many other people in the world. <laughs> You're, yeah, you, you are being right. sentenced friend. to give us a fucking update about yeah, this. Yeah, that's the sentence. Yeah, my yeah. God. You Ooh. guys just have to are sentenced to having to deal with this, unfortunately. Yeah. This is tough. I'm so sorry. This so sorry. So yeah, this and is yeah. not this is not on you at all. That's a tough situation. Yeah. And now let's let's end it with a little uh one more little dice Christ I Ooh. need to be purified. Yeah, it's a nice little cleansing one. Mm -hmm. Rebecca J writes a dice Christ confession to the dice, the Christ, and the holy symbol. Oh. A few years ago. Ago, I was invited to join a friend's D&D game. When we rolled initiative for our first encounter, the DM asked us to roll a D12 for initiative instead of a D20. I thought this was weird, but it was my first time playing D&D and I figured this was a strange house rule. Turns out this group doesn't use D20s at all and rolled D12s for everything instead. When I asked why, they just said it's what they preferred. Also, the DM randomly selected a familiar... <laughs> For my Beastmaster Ranger. <laughs> Cursed. <laughs> Wait, I have to get to this part without Dice laughing. Dice Christ condemns no! everyone. <laughs> no, no, no. I have to get to my favorite part of it. Also, the D. <laughs> oh, no. She didn't make this it. Is, are you doing? Are you <laughs> melting down no. the, the explosion? She Emily's doing the thing where it. she laughs so she hard she it. instantly starts crying. Because she's when there. I try to hold it in. Okay. Get there. <laughs> also, the DM randomly selected a familiar. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we watch it. Yes. This is why we watch. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, oh okay. My okay. God. You got I'm this. Oh. Powerful. No, no, no. <laughs> my eyes are not <laughs> Just <laughs> so wet. Also, the DM randomly selected a familiar from my Beastmaster Ranger by flipping to a random page in the monster manual and pointing at the, <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the first creature he's saw. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be underwhelming now. Uh, so my first level character had a <laughs> sea hag familiar. <laughs> you have just, an old woman. That's old woman. Woman. <laughs> it's just a just a gangi. <laughs> my familiar is gangi. Hi. Yeah. She's so much grandma. I seek what? dice guys forgiveness for using this D12 based system and for not speaking up about my too powerful familiar. <laughs> Roth, the D12 rolling C had <laughs> This is all cursed. <laughs> That's wild. Dice Christ has to cleanse this game. No. I'm just imagining playing a beast master and then just showing up and they're like, great, um, you summon your beast, a woman crawls out from a puddle. Yeah. And she's gonna roll a D12 it, to attack. Attack with a plus nine. <laughs> right away. <laughs> that's, uh, I'm just picturing that's this guy wild. like pulling out the book, be like, really excited to play. My mom just got me the book. Dungeons and Dorngons. <laughs> Dungeons and Doorknobs. <laughs> it's basically the same, my mom said. <laughs> they didn't want to have to spend all that money and putting a D20 in there. <laughs> is, ex is excommunication an option? <laughs> like, what if we just we remove just have them to from just, the church? Yeah. Yeah. I think that this talk. person, they rolled with it, and I think that, like, Dice Christ likes you a can PC still be to saved. roll. Yeah. Is it? Uh, okay. So used all, but I think that mm -hmm. this DM is ex Dice right. Christ yes. can yes. save you, but the the rest of your party is unfortunately ex That's a wild. Of your D12 rolling yeah, party. Please. Can you imagine at any point, for any reason, opening Getting the monster manual life. randomly and having that anything happen with that Horror. and having it be good? <laughs> yeah, the moment you started cracking, I was like, okay, what are the three dumbest thing? And the answer was mostly they're not animals. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. you're losing the piece in Beastmaster pretty like, quickly. How long does it take to close PC? the book and open it up again? Or to realize as soon just as you it. fuck up the mm. first time, just be like, you know what? This was actually a bad idea, gang. We're going to go ahead and look yeah. at the animals in the back. But also like <laughs> trying to trying to bond with your adult old crone that's from a, the That's sea. a person. Hi, Miriam. Hello. <laughs> um, we're gonna go into battle now. <laughs> Would you like some kelp? Ooh. Okay. Uh, roll a Open D12. Up. Roll a D12 to see how good the kelp open is. Open your mouth. I was really <laughs> hoping you were gonna be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I can turn your party member into a pig. Ooh, she's Cersei now. <laughs> yeah. All 
All right, this is this is truly cursed, uh, but you can be saved. Yeah. Ice Christ uh, accepts you uh, and excommunicates uh, the DM who did yeah. this. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, that's you, just quirky for its own sake. Yeah, yeah. the D twelves is that's yeah. the D12, just can so you imagine cursed. rolling a twelve and being like, yes, yes, a nat twelve, a nat twelve. <laughs> I mean, I know I've 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 had weapons that are twelves before. Yeah. It does feel good to roll yeah. that twelve, mm-hmm. but yeah. imagine that as like. Doing an ability no. check and being like, yes, I got a twelve. The two is in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, or just being, yeah, just, hey, you just getting want like, to be able to crit more often. Doing yeah. really okay. good on That's like true. an yeah, eight you crit or more something. Often. Yeah, just like yes, I, I got a nine. More often. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I want to. Yeah, crit more it's often. not. Spe- it's not special. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. All right. Really weird stuff. <laughs> really weird stuff. <laughs> really weird stuff. Really weird stuff all around. Yeah. Just uh, the bizarro world. Sweet, everybody. Uh, we're going to wrap this one up. Thank you all so much for listening. You can listen to us and watch us uh, over on our Patreon for some bonus cases. That's patreon.com slash nadpod. That's N-A-D-D-P-O-D. Don't sing yet. Don't do it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. And thank you to um, uh, Judge uh, Bria Iyengar. Uh, Bria, do you Justice. have it? Justice. Justice. I'm a justice. Sorry. I don't justice. know the difference, but it feels. Important. I don't know. It feels important. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It does feel <laughs> a little you. bit more <laughs> longer word. Justice. It's a better a word. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to plug? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you plugged a uh, court so, of uh, yeah. 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 Go to Dimension uh, yeah. Twenty, yeah. where everyone here yeah. goes <laughs> and watch things everyone. on there. You know. Perfect. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Uh, sweet. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Abri will be joining us over on the Patreon, so check that out. Um, uh, Caldo, uh, anybody have anything? We're good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be the big brother in the upcoming season of Dimension 20. I'm just going to be standing in the background. Oh, oh, no. You're going to be so, Jamie's, yeah. Jamie's, Jamie's, brother. Jamie's brother. Do you Jamie's promise? Brother? <laughs> this you is have, a bit I promise I won't forget. You have one, <laughs> what was that? You have one earbud in, <laughs> and you're like blasting Primus. <laughs> It'll just be me going, hey, uh, big brother did not think that was funny. Let's take it again. <laughs> Run it back. Again. Make a better choice. I guess it's funny. Make a better choice. You know, if you're into that. You guys are being too serious right now. Could we say something funny for the big brother? <laughs> Remember, he loves dick and balls. <laughs> I'm watching grandma's boy on my else. phone. Yeah. Not much else. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, su- sweet. Uh, <laughs> you can follow us on social media that we may or may not use at ch murph is me at Axford's Emily at Caldy is Caldwell and it. Abria. What's what are your tags? At Quitty at Quitty Don't worry is about why. Abria. Uh, and you can uh, tweet about the show using hashtag NADPOD. That's N A D D P O D. We are, we are the youth, youth of the nation. nation. We are, we are the youth, youth of the nation. nation. That was a headgum podcast.